be a good slave. Okay? They're not just gonna be indentured servants, they're gonna be bond men and bond women. Good. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. So that, that's that's what we do. Uh, what's that? Philippians 2 and 12. What? Zephaniah 3 verse 19 Behold at that time I will undo all that afflict thee and I will save her that halters in Gerah Read that again uh, Zephaniah 3 verse 19 Behold at that time I will undo all that afflict thee and I will save her that halted and gather her that was driven out and I will get them praise and fame in every land where they have been put to shame. Yeah, so, so the so-called white man, the other nations, they, they're the ones that afflicted us, okay? So, so, those are the, so those are the same people that the Lord's gonna pay back for our affliction. All right? That's, that's the recompense. Jeremiah 30 and 16. Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured. And all thine adversaries, every one of them, shall go into captivity. And they that spoil thee shall be a spoil. And all that prey upon thee will I give for a prey. So the other nations are going to slavery. So all, all the nations had a hand in our slavery. Okay. Let's say let's say one particular nation didn't have a, uh, a hand in our slavery. At one point in time, they, they did. Or they had a uh, they, they they had an influence on us. Uh, from following the laws of Yahweh by Shimei was shot. So they're still guilty, okay? And the heathen are, are going to be our inheritance anyway. That's, a, that's according to the scripture. Mm -hmm. the scripture said whatsoever thing I, and that's what the nation, nations were created for anyway, to serve Israel, okay, to be beneath us, all right? Where, where are God's uh, firstborn? Yahweh by Shimei was shot firstborn, okay? Zephaniah 3 verse 20, at that time will I bring you again, even in the time that I gather you. For I will make you a name and a praise among all the people of the earth. Yeah, I will make you a name and a praise among all the people of the earth. And the Lord's going to, the only way to know we can be, have a name, make us renowned, make us famous, is we have to have spiritual power. We have to have the ability to put people to death. We have to have the, have the ability to, to do a set up a government on earth. That's how we're going to get fame. Right, a righteous government. Right? You got the Edomites say government is bad. Whenever a government uh, takes over, that, that's when uh, no, no one man can, can rule, rule, rule uh, the nation. Because there's always going to be corruption. Well, if you if you in, in line with the laws of the Heavenly Father, yeah. okay, you, you, you can't get corrupt, okay? Because the, the new covenant is the law is going to be encoded into our uh, into our spirit. And we ain't going to be able to break them, no matter what. We're not going to have a brother that's going to entice you keeping the commandments because they're going to be keeping the commandments. It's going to be fire in their heart to keep the whole law. When the Lord put, puts that uh, spirit in our mind to do that. Uh, verse 13, Zephaniah, of the third, uh, Zephaniah 3 and 13. The remnant, the remnant of Israel shall not do iniquity, nor speak lies. Yeah, Yahweh Bashim Yahushah. Okay, Yahweh Bashim Yahushah. But Nor speak lies, neither shall a deceitful tongue be found in their mouth. For they, shall, for they shall feed and lie down, and the nuts shall make them afraid. Yeah, it's a deceitful thing to say that you don't have to, uh, to teach the name. That, that, that's, that's having a deceitful tongue, all right? Knowing there's power in that name, knowing that's, that's our foundation, that's how we're going to be saved, that's the name of the person we're teaching it. But yet we don't know his name, and we're not supposed to teach it, it's not, it's not relevant. According to these guys, you know, that all makes sense. I want to scripture I want you to get the heathen. Uh, he even said the teachers the name of prophecy will receive the prophecy reward. Uh, yeah. The righteous man shall receive the righteous man reward or something like that. Uh, First John 3 and 23. And this is his commandment that we should believe on the name of his son Yahweh Shah. Yeah, and he has a name. Of course, the things that go with the name, okay? Like, like uh, establish the law through faith, okay? Uh, election is according to grace, okay? Rehearsing righteous acts. Okay. Read that again. Uh, first John chapter 3, verse 23. And this is his commandment that we shall believe on the name of his son, Yahweh Shah. Yeah, and, and we establish all that. We acknowledge. We, we acknowledge the Lord. We acknowledge, we acknowledge the name of the person that we're teaching it. 
Yahusha, Yahu Bashim Yahusha. That microphone is evil, man. So he he gets to there. yell, right? But the other guy don't get to yell. Yeah. No, I think it's shit not working out right now. I don't think it's working right now. <laughs> In love with another as he gave us commandment. <laughs> and he that keepeth his commandments dwelleth in him, and he in him. And hereby we know that read he. That, read that again. He that dwells in him and he in him. What? And he that keepeth his commandments dwelleth in him. So we dwell in Yahweh Shai. Okay? Yeah. Go ahead. And he in him, and hereby and Yahweh Shai is dwelling in us. So, so it's the spirit that, that Yahweh Shai gave us, okay, to keep us from committing uh, sins unto, unto death, like adultery. We're not going to commit uh, sins unto death in adultery, okay? Because we're animated by Yahweh Yahweh Shai's spirit. All right, willingly, I mean, willingly. And hereby we know that he abideth in us by the spirit which he hath given us. Yeah, and that, that's how we know. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh gave us the spirit, okay? He, he established the, the commandments of the best of our ability, okay? That, 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 that's a sign that, that you know you have the Holy Spirit, because you can seal this, keep Yahweh Bashem Yahweh's commandments, okay? This is, uh... Really? Demons. Somebody must cut my arm from the wall. This is uh, Matthew 10 and uh, 39. Yep. He that findeth his life shall lose it. And he that loseth his life for my sake shall find it. He that receiveth you receiveth me. And he that receiveth me receiveth him that sent me. That, that's the order. I, I was speaking about that earlier. So we have an order. The, 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 the word of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh came to our elders, okay? All to our business, okay? All the way down to, to the last man. So when you first come into the truth, you have to, you have to, under, you have to understand through one of, one of the brothers that's already teaching in the truth. You can't just come up with, with, with the knowledge on your own. It's the breakdowns on your own. You gotta fit under the yoke. If there's an order, you gotta fall in line. You gotta stay where you can fit. All right? And the power right now is with the elders of Great Millstone, okay? And we learn under the elders of Great Millstone, okay? And we can understand because we have the Holy Spirit. That's how you, that's how you know, we keep, that's how you know the world of the Most High because we keep the Lord's commandments. We don't trifle at the commandments. We know that the commandments are a serious thing. And we also know that, that we're not going to be saved by keeping the commandments. But the elect men, the prophets of Israel, okay, they, they're going to be keeping the, the commandments to the best of their, their ability. Is that because that's what the scriptures say. This is uh, Hebrews. There's more to that, but I mean. Yeah. This is uh, Matthew 10 and uh, 41. He that receiveth the prophet in the name of a prophet shall receive a prophet's reward. Huh. And the elders are prophets, okay? And who receive their, their word that they receive from Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shah. Alright, so we're, we're prophets. So if we are going to the end, we're going to see the prophet's reward. We go to Matthew, uh, it's like Revelation 7 chapter and find out what the reward is. And he that receiveth a righteous man in the name of a righteous man shall receive a righteous man's reward. Huh? And whosoever shall give to drink unto one of those, excuse me, and whosoever shall give to drink unto one of these little ones a cup of cold water. Yeah, the, cold, the cold water is the wisdom, okay? Feeding uh, the sheep, feeding the flock, feeding the flock and slaughter, okay? Which are the, which are the dead Israelites, right? which, which are being spiritually dead, all right? So, and that was uh, what the elders to us. We were spiritually dead. And they gave us a cup of cold water, which was the knowledge, okay? Only in the name of a disciple, Verily I say unto you, he shall in no wise lose his reward. Yeah, so though all those men are endure to the end, we're going to uh, receive, receive the kingdom, okay? Which is the, the knowledge of the scriptures, okay? And salvation from the second death. This is um, uh, Sirach, chapter 51, 51 verse 22. The Lord hath given me a tongue for my reward, and I will praise him therewith. Draw near unto me, you unlearned, and draw fit. The Lord has given me a tongue for my for my reward, and I will praise Him therewith. Draw near. Yeah, he, gave, he gave him a tongue for He gave us a tongue for His reward. Reward. He will praise Him therewith. Okay. And then one way you can say is that you can say Hallelujah. Okay. So we praise the Most High. Right. Draw near unto me, you unlearned, 
and dwell in the house of learning. Yeah, to unlearn what were us at one time, okay? And the house of learning is amongst the elders of Great Millstone. Wherefore are you slow? And what say you you of these things? Seeing your soul, your souls are very thirsty. Yeah, we were thirsty. We were thirsty, but I, I was looking for the truth. And I'll, and I'll, and I'll say, you know what? Uh, YouTube have, has everything, so I put it in YouTube and I felt all this great millstone. Okay? And they were teaching the truth. Yeah, that was a bad thing. I don't know, it was something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, it says, I opened my mouth and said, I heard for, for yourselves without money. Put your neck under the under the yoke and let your soul receive instruction. Yeah, we didn't have to pay them for the, for the elders to teach us the truth. Okay? As the scripture said, freely uh, as you receive, freely give. Okay? So, we were all, we came into this thing by, by grace. Praise the Lord. Faith. God bless. Give me some love, y'all. It says, put your. She is hard at hand to find. Behold with your eyes how that I have had but little labor, but, but have gotten me much rest. Get learning with a great sum of money and get much gold by her. Let your soul rejoice in, her, in his mercy and be not ashamed of his praise. Work your work be times and in his time he will give you your reward. Yeah, the gold is a, is a knowledge, okay? Romans 11, 31. You did the last part again? It says, get learning with a sum of, of money and get much gold by her. Let your soul rejoice in his mercy and be not ashamed of his praise. Work your work be times and in his time, he will give you your reward. Yeah, it means study, okay? And go out and keep the Lord's commandments. The prophet's side instruction, as of right now, the prophet's side instruction of Babylon. And we're raising up the tribes, the tribes of Israel. Uh, real quick, this is uh, Romans 11:33. Oh, the depth of the riches, both of the wisdom and knowledge of the Most High. How unsearchable are his judgments and his ways past finding out. Yeah, no, so like the royal riches, the royal riches are not physical gold and silver. It's the knowledge of the knowledge of the Heavenly Father. And the knowledge of the Son. By whom we have been justified through faith. By his blood. By the house of blood. Real quick, this is Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. Yeah, that's our church, that's our gold, that's our exactly. silver. Okay. Yeah. Because the scriptures tell you how uh, the them riches that you have, such as gold and silver, that's going to be cast in the streets. So it's corrupt. Yeah, it's going to have no value. It's not going to be able to redeem. You know? So everything's being, because I wanted to say too, you know, it, it might start to rain, there might be nobody listening to us, there might be just scoffers. But you know what? The Lord. Via the angels are still taking into account everything that we're doing. Always watching. All right? Always watching. Because why? Because a man is going to be justified by his sayings, the things that proceed out of his mouth. All right? So you, you got to be out here, man. You got to be out here. You got to be speaking the right thing when you are out here. You know? So man is going to be justified by the things that proceed out of his mouth. You know? This is Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. Yeah, that, that's what's going to keep us stable. Amongst all this chaos in Babylon, Babylon does mean confusion, right? Amongst all this, amongst all this confusion, the turmoil, the tumult, the wisdom that we've learned these few years, these few years we've been preaching in Babylon, that's what's going to keep us stable. That's, that's, that's going to keep us uh, knowledgeable. We, we know how to fast, so if we gotta go to go, go without food for a day or two, the Lord put that spirit on us, okay? Through, through, the, through the scriptures, okay, the real treasure, to, to be able to endure that. Huh? When they start issuing the RFD microchip, we have the wisdom to, to resist that. To say, no, we, we ain't doing that. We, we just go out the system. We just won't go, we just won't have a job. We, we just won't go in any government buildings, okay? We, we, won't, we, don't, we don't want the benefits of silver white man when that, when that day comes. Uh, real quick. That's why we got some. Proverbs 11 to 4. Which is profit not in the day of wrath, 